And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is about Africa's growing foothold in the technology sector. Morocco held the second edition of the GTEx Africa Tech Show, which saw a culmination of startups, tech giants, entrepreneurs and global leaders on a global stage. From robots that play games to agricultural drones, the event saw some of the most advanced and creative tech innovations. Our report tells you how Africa is positioning itself as an emerging tech hub. Morocco's tech industry is witnessing a metamorphosis. After the automotive sector, Morocco is now making long strides in the tech arena. The, citizen at the, center. When we put the, citizen the country's capital, Marrakesh, brought together global leaders last week as it hosted the second edition of the Jitex Africa Tech Show. From robots that play games to agricultural drones, startups and tech giants gathered for the country's marquee tech event. The three-day event, billed as one of Africa's largest tech shows, hosted IT titans like Microsoft and Canon. Around 1,500 exhibitors, companies, entrepreneurs, innovators and startups from more than 130 countries graced the event. At the forefront of the discussion was artificial intelligence and its potential to boost Africa's economic and social development. Morocco's ABA technology presented a spraying drone which offers precise management of water and chemicals. The aircraft can help farmers in the country that's grappling with a sixth year of drought. Faced with climatic challenges such as drought and thanks to technological advances, our spraying drone offers an efficient and optimal solution, allowing precise management of water and chemicals. Thanks to Jitex, we have had a lot of visitors who really want to know more information about this drone. Meanwhile, creativity was on full display during the event. Egypt-based Marsis displayed a robot that can play ball games. The company says it aims to break the barriers between people and robots. We present this year an interactive solution in a robot that plays handball with people here. Our aim is to break the barriers between people and technology and robotics, and to let people feel how technology can positively affect their lives. And many international companies utilized the event to make inroads into the African market that they had earlier found difficult to crack into. The Jitex exhibition has made a lot of things easier for us because it is a gateway to Africa. We didn't have it a few years ago. So since last year we have had this gateway, so it makes it easier for us to have contact and everything. So we have direct contact without having to travel throughout Africa, which is a travel problem, and today travel is expensive. So it is indirectly an investment, but directly it brings us money. Plenty of homegrown businesses were also part of the Jitex show. And companies like Mediot and Almexaira and Company served as testament to Morocco's tech advancements. The firms say they want to put Morocco on the map for tech development. Last year, Jitex came to Africa for the first time, marking its first foray outside Dubai. Morocco's state-of-the-art infrastructure, high internet connectivity and a 100% electricity penetration rate made it the perfect choice to host the event. And now, a year later, as Marrakesh hosts Jitex Africa for the second year in a row, it seeks to highlight Africa's growing importance in the technology sector. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. <laughs>